What's up, what's the video? Yo, it's me back with another video. And I just wanted to um, respond to this comment that I read on Heidi video from one of her subscribers. And um, they was uh, talking, they were referring to something that I said and then uh here let me read it. They say I disagree with Miss Wanda regardless of how I feel about Adrian. I believe she's telling the truth on her mom. I'll be the first to say I never side or agree with Adrian. Mama D failed Adrian as a child. She was a horrible mother. Why was Adrian a prostitute at age fifteen? Her mom was with a drug dealer and when he got locked up, Adrian is side by side with her Helping her sell drugs. What kind of mother does that? Her mother violated the boundaries of a child and parent. What kind of mother does drugs with their daughter? I'm sorry, but all these things cannot be ignored. Well, first off, um, no. Adrian made a damn choice. Regardless of what the fuck her mama was doing, I don't say that she didn't send her mama, she didn't send Adrian out there to be on the streets. Regardless of what she was doing. You got a lot of kids out here. Look at Peach. Her parents were drug dealers. She didn't get out there and prostitute. It's a choice that Adrian made. That Adrian wanted to do. Okay, now as far as them doing uh, drugs together. I guess what Mama D was trying to say was. Okay, maybe. No, it won't no good jo choice. No, I ain't saying that she was right for selling drugs and, you know, that's the right parent. That's a good parent to sell drugs uh, with your daughter, doing drugs with your daughter and all this other stuff. That ain't what I'm saying that is correct. That ain't that ain't what we sitting here talking about, whether she was a, a good mom or not. We talking about the fact that the lies that Adrian is telling. First of all, like I said, she had a choice. You know, she won't force. Because she was. Mama D wouldn't have never went back out there and got her black ass. She said that she went on. She went out there and got her. So what I'm saying is. Um, what I'm saying to it is. What I'm saying to it is. Uh, so yeah, she told the truth. far as what they was out there with her and her mama were doing crack together. But no, I don't believe that uh, Mama D is the reason Adrian was out there. Uh being a prostitute. I don't know. And as she got older, you want to blame Mama D for the way Adrian is now? No. That ain't got nothing to do with her. It's a lot of people that came. It's a lot of kids that came up through poverty. Came up, didn't have shit. Came up through hard time, the ghetto. Slanging, killing, rape, all of that shit. It's a lot of kids out here that came up through that. And is successful now. Living a successful life. So, no, I can't sit here and look at her son. His son, Her son came through the same shit. Hell, she won't be 17 when she had him. So, he experienced the same shit with her. He ain't out there. He ain't no drug dealer. No, stop trying to blame. Stop trying to sit here and sugarcoat shit for Adrian because she want to sit here and try to make her mama look like she the reason she where the fuck she at and she ain't. That's all the fuck I'm saying. No, I'm not saying she lying about what she went through and she been through, but no, we gonna, I'm not going to sit here and blame Mama D because of what a, how Adrian turned the fuck out. That's not what we going to do. No. No, no matter how bad of a mama that you may think that uh, Mama D was, that ain't made the choice that Adrian had to turn out like she fucking turned out. She didn't make Adrian do that. Adrian, trust and believe, the shit that Adrian was doing with her mama, she enjoyed it. Like she tried to say, oh, the mama handed her the gun. That's because your ass was all in it. You wanted to be in it. I'm pretty sure she would have told her mama she didn't want to do the shit. Mama D would have made her go the other way. But look at her now. How she at? You can tell she was all in the business. Stayed stirring this shit. Look at her now. Whenever she goes somewhere, she can't do shit without being in everybody's business. Perfect example. 
I don't care where that woman go, what restaurant she go to, what part she go to, she in somebody's shit. She gonna make sure she look hard enough just so they can get her, just so she can get the attention. Don't act like you don't follow her and, and see her ways and shit. That's what killed me about y'all. Y'all ready to pop off and shit, and you ain't really analyze the situation with Adrian. Everybody trying to stroke her fucking ego. Trying to make like now, oh, she's some good Samaritan motherfucker. No, I don't hate her, but I'm not getting ready to get her no damn props when it ain't due. Hell, y'all know I'm the first to say to give her props. And hell, I'm the first to say, you know, if I like something that she got her clothes or she look good in something. Hell, it's the other motherfucker ones that don't give her no props. So shit, I'm just saying, no, I'm not about to sit here and say that um, just because Mama D did what she did, that's why Adrian the way she is. Adrian made a choice. Just like she make a choice now to be homeless and bumming around and staying with motherfuckers. Then they said... Then they said, um, I'm sorry things can't be ignored. Because although dysfunctional behavior, actions, and broken boundaries of, of parent and child is the root of their issues today, no. Mama D does not get a pass on Agent on, on this. Agent is an evil bitch because of all the pain and trauma she endured in a dysfunctional mm -mm, household. Look at the blueprint of a mother she had when she become your child's friend and smoking crack and other drugs with them. This is the outcome you get. A disrespectful, dysfunctional relationship as a child and parent. I believe Asia when she said that video, when she said in that video that she and her brother have seen things children should have not seen. So whose fault is that? Because she was out there in it. I promise, I ain't, we don't know. But a lot of, probably because she sneaked because she stay in everybody's damn business. She stayed right up on her. She wanted to be in the business. Hell, she was out there horn at 15. She seen things she should not. They seen things that she should not seen. Who fault is that? It ain't Mama D. Yes. As a 50-year-old, as a 50-year-old agent should take accountability for her action on how she treats people and her evil evil street behavior. But I'm not going give I'm not giving Mama D grace. She created the monster she's dealing with now. She failed her children big time as a mother. So why is this surprise about what is the surprise about? I disagree totally. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and say Mama D get the uh she get a um uh, mom trophy of the year or the month or anything like that because yeah she had a toxic environment bringing them up in but at the same time if you can tell just from the way the Adrian act that she stayed in the shit she wanted to be in it she wanted to be in it she didn't have to indulge herself in that shit but I guess her mama looked at her hell you want to be grown hell her mama didn't send her to jail her mama didn't put her out there to steal Cause she said her mama said herself, Adrian and her son didn't have to want for nothing. Didn't have to want for shit. So she didn't understand why Adrian was out there stealing. I mean, was out there prostitute and stealing. If she didn't have to want for nothing. It's called hustle. Shit. No, she chose Adrian chose to be the what she is. It's a lot of tough people out there got uh drug dealing uh, uh parents. To send the business. That don't necessarily mean just that the children that they have gonna do the same shit. Hell, I know I got family members that I know that that uh, used to dwell in it, and their kids ain't their kids ain't doing the shit. Ain't none of them go to jail. Them motherfuckers went to college, got good jobs. So I know I beg the damn different. Asian went out there being a whore because she wanted to be a whore. Asian went out there stealing because she wanted to steal. It ain't got nothing to do with how Mama D raised her. No, it won't no good environment. I agree with that totally. No, that won't no environment for no kids to be raised up in. But how the hell is it that the son turned out to do good, ain't went to jail, none of that shit, got decent kids that he raised, 
uh, got a daughter, damn nurse, son doing her son doing good. Here it is, you got the evil bitch Adrian. Adrian, come on now, make it make sense. She had a choice to do to choose how she wanted to care, uh, how she wanted to ride out her life. If it was such a big, if it was such a big uh, dysfunctional, why Adrian ain't selling drugs? Huh? Why she just selling ass? Why she don't want the work? Because to me, sounds like Mama D was a hustler. And still, her, she was about her business. Mama D ain't homeless. Mama D ain't got, Mama D got her own shit. So, explain why her daughter still doing ain't changed from the time she was 15 to now. Explain that. They ain't got nothing to do with Mama D. They ain't got nothing, like I said again. Mama D ain't got nothing to do and didn't have nothing to do with her going to jail. That was Adrian's choice. No, when you say some shit, think about some shit. No, I ain't blaming y'all. Again, we can agree that she want the best mama. I agree on that. But she must have done something right because one of them came out good, doing good, raised good kids, got good jobs, they got a good job making mad money. Come on now. What this? What her daughter got? What do her daughter got? No, she made that choice, and I'm a stand, and that's what I'm a stand on. Y'all have a good day. Love y'all, and I'm out. Mm-hmm.